please waiting. And okay. You fire at these fools. I think I killed the last one, but some units moved back in. So we'll have to continue the unit the combat. But that's okay. As long as these uh where are they? As long as these Iroquois scouts don't swoop in and steal my camp. It's my encampment. What do we got here? Some Iroquois warriors? That's fine. Um, yeah, you can see the recommendations change based on where you're standing. Based on what you can see. So it says this is also a good city spot, but I'm going to stick here. That way I can still build a city over here. And there won't be quite as much direct competition. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I'm, I like this spot, so I'm going to build here. And it still has this as recommendation. So we're going to build a cod. Not a cod. Not, you know, a cod, which would be a fish. A cod. Alright, and we're going to buy a tile right away. We want this... There's there's a little bit of competition from uh, Persia. Not really for stealing our tiles, but we want to make sure, like... We want to mark our territory. This is my land. Don't fuck with it. Plus, it's got tons of really sweet resources that I want to get as soon as possible. So, I will pick up... <clears throat> I'm now choking on a piece of chocolate. Um, I will pick up the deer right away because I think if we build a camp here, we'll get bonus food. Yeah, and that will be quite valuable for the city. It's a good tile. If I want to buy another tile, it's actually only slightly more expensive, 55. That's not bad at all. All right, I'll claim the horses. And if I were to buy another one, 60. It only goes up by five per. That's not bad. Um, I will claim the uh, gold. Now, these, this all needs to be improved. In a way, in a sense, it doesn't make sense to expand quite this quickly. But I think it's going to be helpful for us. And uh, we got to get some workers out here as soon as possible. I'm going to leave my warriors here. That's fine. You guys uh, garrison the city. And, yeah, everyone build workers. We need workers. So many tiles to improve. Workers take quite a long time to build in this game. And they take a little bit more time to improve tiles, it feels like. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it? Oh, we may want to build what granaries thing? soon, though. That'd be pretty sweet. Okay, can I... Almost, but not quite. Or rather, they're not dead yet, so I can't just walk into the city. But that killed them. There is another barbarian unit around here, though. Hmm. So this worker is done. I can't build roads yet, huh? I need... I need the wheel first, okay. So, and I also don't have the calendar. Um... Hmm. Do I keep improving Babylon, or do I move up there and start improving those tiles? I think I'm going to move up there. Babylon's making a worker, so he's going to be okay. I'll just move up here. I'll move to... Do I have mining? Nope. Where's my uh, research here? Yeah, I don't have mining yet either. Okay. So, let's go and just build on the deer. And I'd like to take the camp, but I don't want to just walk into the open. I think it's much more important to use my ranged attack against these spearmen. So that if they do decide to attack me, they will be weakened. Plus, I do have the bonus here of being on top of the hill and across the river. So, feeling alright. We'll see what they do. Barbarians are not usually very smart. They tend to throw their lives away. Oh, he's just going to go and defend the city. Okay, well then I'm just going to shoot you with arrows. How do you like that? Being across the river doesn't help you against arrows. I love the ranged combat in this game. So good. Oh my god. Like, there definitely are some things that I liked about Civ 4, mostly because I really, really understood the system, and I could, like, really work the edges pretty well. Um, but there's so many nice things in this game. So, Napoleon wants an open borders agreement. I like that idea. Sure, why not? I don't see any reason to say no. Uh, there's Him walking into my territory won't be particularly harmful, and it will improve our uh, relations. So, that sounds great. Let's do that. That does mean he has writing, which is interesting. Because I think you need writing to do those agreements. Oh. oh! I guess we killed those guys. Okay, let's go and finally take this camp. Took long enough. Did earn us a lot of XP over time, though, so that's very nice. 
and we can just keep exploring. Mm -hmm. I have an itch right on the headphone, so sorry if that made some noise, but I had to scritch my ear. All right, worker, you are going to build a camp. Yeah, it gives us plus one food. Sweet. Let's grow those cities nice and big and strong. Eat your vegetables. Put some hair on your chest. Nice foresty land over here. Very nice, considering this is a scout, even though he's a bowman. God, I love that upgrade. That was so sweet. That was a pop-up, letting me know one of my cities grew in size. Oh, in fact, it's Babylon, which is size four now. Growing quite well. My happiness is actually in pretty good shape. Uh, oh, because I have ivory hooked up. Yes, because I actually I have nine total unhappiness because of my cities and population. So I would be breaking even if not for uh, the fact that I've discovered a natural wonder and I have ivory because natural er, the uh, luxury resources give you a whole plus five. So good. Now they don't stack. Having two ivories would not help me, but it would give me something I can start trading. So it's still not too bad. There's another border up here. We're going to have to say hi. Oh, that's the Iroquois. Okay. You know, at this point, I can probably just automate this guy. There's a, there's a certain point where the exploration stops being fun, and, you know, micromanaging it does mean that you have the ability to uh, dodge some sticky situation with uh, barbarians. Plus, then, you know, if I end up close to a barbarian camp, I can attack. But I think I will just tell him to explore. We don't need to babysit you anymore. We're going to skip the turns a little bit faster in this early phase. Focus on our growth. Uh, Kuala Lumpur warrior. He's even outside his borders. He's just, you know, checking things out, seeing how things are. I love that they have their own military. So Akkad has grown. And the city of Babylon wants pearls. If I get them pearls, if I get pearls hooked up to my trade network, they will enter We Love the King Day, which increases the food uh, production, which increases its growth rate quite a bit. So the question is, are there pearls anywhere that's even vaguely accessible? Usually no. Usually they're asking, here's pearls over here, they're asking for stuff that's actually quite rare and hard to get, uh, which makes sense, right? I mean, they're saying this is a super luxurious thing we'd like to have, uh, we don't have any access to it in any way whatsoever, so that would be really awesome if you could get us that, and it'll get, make us super, super happy. But you do have to work for it. An unmet player has entered the classical age. Now see, let's check out... Oh, I found another uh, world wonder. I'll check that out in a sec. Now, you can see at the top here, the technology tree is divided into ages. Ancient age, classical, medieval, and so on. So someone has just researched one of the technologies to get into the classical era, which is pretty impressive considering I'm really nowhere close to that at all. Um, I mean, I'm sort of close. I suppose I could be working on optics or something. I could have rushed to one of them, which may have happened. Someone may have rushed to ironworking, someone particularly aggressive. I don't know. Um, but it's a little intimidating. It's someone I haven't met yet, so hopefully it's someone on another continent. Now, we have discovered the Great Barrier Reef. And the Great Barrier Reef is actually so big it has two tiles. Uh, so we actually get two happiness, because we've sort of discovered it twice. Um, nice little spot here. We might settle a city here later, even though it's pretty desert oriented, but does have a lot of special stuff. Yeah, someone entered the classical age. That's freaky. Okay. Next turn. We'll get those warriors whipped out, and, or workers whipped out, and then decide, do we start building aggressive units, or defensive units? Like, you know, do we develop our military? Do we build more settlers? Okay, finish this worker. Good. Recommending some farms. Yes, I like the idea of some farms. We get started on it soon. And what do we build? Yeah, what do we build? Or there's buildings. Monument for bonus culture. Granary for bonus food. We do we have cheap settlers because of our liberty thing. And personally, I'm a big fan of expanding. We have some happiness to spare, so I think we can afford to expand once. We'll see how it goes after we do that. I do like this spot right here. Um, doesn't give us access to any new luxuries, though. And that may be something to consider. So teach us to number our days, so that we may apply our hearts unto The calendar will, though. Plantation. That will give us access to sugar. And we can get bananas later. Um, yeah, actually, so yeah, if we settle over here, we do actually get access to bananas. And that will be nice. Um, because, yeah, settling, you know, you can keep growing your empire as long as your empire is still happy. So keep in, that in mind. I'm hoping that bananas give me count as a luxury resource. Is there, um... Civilopedia entry for this? Technology, units, promotions, buildings, wonders. 
Oh, resources. Here we go. Uh, bananas. Yields plus one food. Oh, it's not a luxury resource. It's just a bonus resource, which just means having extra extra food production. So, I think I can I can expand once. I'll still be perfectly happy even with some population growth, but then we will want to see ways of increasing our happiness. Research. Um Yeah, do we do the mathematics and the currency trick? I think that's a good idea. There's something to be said for mining to increase our production, but Oh, it does need wheel. That's okay. We can use the wheel, build some roads. Water mill, sure. Yeah. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Let's let's do this. I like the plan. I you know, delaying mining for so long kind of shitty, but okay, we could build we can either build the farm or we can build a trading post, which would give us plus two gold, and that's that's quite nice as well. Uh, I'm gonna go with the farm because it doesn't this city currently doesn't have any tiles that produce more than one food. And that is something I definitely want. So I'm gonna want at least a couple of farms. Worker here. Oh, finished with the deer, I suppose. And let's get the horses hooked up. No, you don't have to build roads to these resources anymore. All you have to do is build an improvement on them. That is all it takes, and then they are a part of your trade network. I mean, assume they're within your borders as well, of course. Um, I'm going to spend a little money to expand Babylon. Ugh. No, there's really no point. Unless I want to grow towards the sugar. Well, that's not a bad idea. How much would it cost me to do that? Quite pricey. Yeah, the, it's still... I guess maybe it keeps piling up just based on how many tiles you bought in total. I thought it decreased over time, but I'm not sure. And I still don't know why these are cheaper than that, you know? Like, what's the difference? Is it because it's wooden? But yeah, we could expand towards the sugar. Have more sugar to trade. I don't know, fuck it, let's just save it up. Maybe we'll use it for bribes on, on uh, city-states. hmm, hmm, hmm. Liking this game so much, so much. Next turn, nothing doing. All right, well, we'll keep turning away then. French archer checking out my my city. What do you think, guys? Pretty sweet, huh? Next to this river, all this gold. You jealous? You jealous? <gasps> Someone has built the pyramids. That's okay. I wasn't going for the pyramids. Although, if I do want to win a cultural victory. I should probably get thinking about building wonders at some point. <laughs> but I'm thinking maybe another couple of cities and then we can stop worrying about building settlers and we can build some of our improvements. Like the granary and the monument. Start getting some bonus culture. Yeah, the culture improvements would actually be a really big deal. One thing to note, the amount of culture you need to get a new social policy increases based on the number of cities you have. So spamming out a bunch of cities actually makes it harder in a way to get your, your goals, but then you have more cities that potentially are creating culture with buildings and so on. So um, I think it ends up being advantageous. I don't know really, but I am hoping. So really not much to do these early turns now that I'm not moving units around. Which normally I think I would still be doing manually because it would give me something to do. Um, you know, let me micromanage a little bit now that I, you know, while I have the APM or the, the brain attention span to be working it. But this keeps the pace up a little bit nicer. So people that like to smile the most. This is based on their excess happiness and I am right down at the bottom with only six. But this probably means that I've expanded more than everyone else. So I don't take offense to that at all. This guy's done good. Let's, uh, well, we can build on our sugar now because we've got calendar. Let's get to work on that because that's going to be awesome. We love that. Yes, lots of happiness plus bonus gold in the tile. Because right now is a marsh tile, which is kind of shitty and only produces one food normally. But it does produce a whopping three gold right now because of the sugar. And it'll actually produce an extra two once I get a plantation. And now we get a wheel. So, uh, we can build chariot archers. Interesting, you don't need archery to build chariot archers, I don't believe. You just need the wheel plus horses. And allows us to build roads, which uh, will provide gold when connecting cities to my capital. So yeah, if I connect a cod to my capital, I get some bonus gold from trade routes. Which right now, I have no trade.